Hello, I'm Jason with scienceandmath.com, and today we're going to learn how to make invisible ink. I mean, who doesn't like to write invisible messages to somebody that only they can read? Now, there's a lots and lots of ways to make invisible ink. You know, there's lots of ways you can go find out to make invisible ink. The way I'm teaching you how I think is pretty safe uh, and a lot of fun, but you do need to be a little careful because you're dealing with, you know, blueberry juice and things like that that can make some stains. So you just want to be a little careful with it. But it's a lot of fun to do, and it just takes a few minutes. So all you need with this experiment is uh, you'll need some paper, that's to write your messages. You'll need some Q-tips, and that's to kind of like a pencil you're going to use to write your invisible messages. You'll need, uh, this is blueberry juice here, and I'll show you where you can get that in just a minute. You'll need some baking soda, and you'll need some water and a spoon. So it's very, very simple, uh, easy to find materials. Let me go ahead and get some of this stuff out of the way, and uh, we'll show you what you really need to do first, second, third, and so on. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to get your blueberry juice. That's something that you're going to need uh, to, to decode the message, basically. Now, if you can find blueberry juice in a bottle, just go ahead and buy it. It'll work just fine. If you can't, it's very simple to make. Just go into the freezer section of the grocery store and get a bag of frozen blueberries. They cost like a dollar or two dollars at the grocery store. Go home, pour those uh, fro frozen blueberries in a bowl, and just put like a tablespoon of water in there, just a little bit of water to keep them moist. Throw them in the microwave. Microwave for a few minutes until those blueberries are really piping hot, and you'll see on the bottom of your bowl this juice is going to be in there. That's just the blueberry juice. When you microwave frozen blueberries, um, they just kind of seep out that nice purple, deep color juice, and it just goes out of the berries, and that's all you have to collect. And this is what's going to be important to use to actually decode the message that you're going to write. All right, so that's how we're going to decode the message. That's how you make you know, one of the key important ingredients uh, to what we're doing here. Now, in order to actually write the invisible message, you're going to use baking soda. And this, is, this can literally be found anywhere. Now, in order to do it, what you want to do is just put a little bit of baking soda in here. How much really doesn't matter. It's probably about a tablespoon or so. Just kind of put that in the bottom of a little dish. And then get a little bit of water, that's what the water is for, and just put it right on top. How, you want to do about half and half. So about how, however much baking soda you actually put in there, go ahead and put about that much water. And what you want to do is stir it up and make sort of a slurry out of it. So we're stirring that up. And what, so what you're doing is you're taking that baking soda and, and you're dissolving some of it. So once we're done with that, we have a piece of paper here. And so what we're going to do is turn this paper sideways to make it a little bit easier to read and grab a Q-tip. Your Q-tip is going to act like your pen in this case. And so what you're going to do is sort of swirl it around, get the, the good water on there and some of the solids that are in there, kind of dip it off. You don't, you don't want to put too much of this stuff. You don't want to goop it on there because the paper has to dry. So there's no reason to goop it on there. And just write a little message. It could be something very simple. You know, I'll do this. And I'll do this, you know, and I'll be creative and just sort of draw like a squiggly line under it. So I have an invisible message. Unless you have very, very good eyes, it's going to be tough for you to see what this is. And what's going to happen is if you let it sit to dry, it will be almost completely invisible. So we'll set that to the side, and I will pull over here a message that I've already created just a few minutes ago using... Uh, the same exact technique, nothing different, but this one's been allowed to dry, so you really can't see it on here. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to take our little indicator solution and we're going to kind of just sort of take a Q-tip. You could use a Q-tip, you could use a sponge, you could even use your finger, and we're going to uh, basically take that message and, and sort of see what it says. So what you want to do is just kind of swirl your Q-tip in there, get some nice indicator on there. Again, not too much. You don't want to goop it up too much. And just let's just gently go back and forth and see if we can see anything. And look at what we have here. We'll go here. We'll go a little bit down. That looks like an H. And then over here. That looks like an I. And that looks like an exclamation point. And what do we have underneath? 
Do we have anything underneath? Let's see. We just have like a little line underneath. There you go. And you can keep going to the rest of the page and just see if you can see anything else. Yeah, it looks like that's about it because what you're looking for is that kind of like that dark green color. So there is a hidden message. You can't see it, uh, you know, whenever the paper is dry, but as soon as you put the kind of decoding liquid on there, you'll let it, you'll, it'll stand out. Now, if you let this paper dry, then it'll be, you know, permanent and you'll be able to see it. So it's not going to disappear again. You'll have this just to kind of hang on the wall or whatever, just to sort of to watch. Well, the question here is how does this actually work? And in order to answer that question, we need to know a little bit about what we were using to put on the page. And so what we have here, we wrote our message with baking soda. Baking soda is what we call a base in chemistry. Now, this blueberry juice, you may not have realized, is actually an acid. There's an acid inside of this blueberry juice. And the exact details of what an acid is and what a base is really aren't that important for this, but suffice to say, acids are in lots and lots of things that you have around the house. Vinegar is an acid. Uh, you know, inside of lemons is a, is a type of acid. Inside of berries like this is a type of acid. So there's acids in lots of different fruits, right? Um, things that have base in there, those would be things like milk. Those would be things like baking soda. So the exact chemical makeup doesn't really matter for this particular little experiment, but basically what you want to just know is that acids and bases are basically opposite of one another. They love to react chemically with one another. And so whenever you have a weak acid and a weak base like this, in this particular case, they, whenever they're combining together, it basically changes the color a little bit. And that's what we found on this page. Originally, everything was invisible, and then as soon as we put the indicator solution on there, which is the, the, the berry juice, we had a chemical reaction between the base, which is the baking soda, and the acid that's in the juice, and it changed colors. And that's why it only changes colors in the places where we put the base on the paper, which is the baking soda. So it's a chemical reaction. It's a great introduction to chemistry uh, for, for anybody out there who wants to learn about it because it's practical. It's something fun. And the only real gotcha with this guy, with this experiment, is that you know, you have berry juice, so you have to be a little careful only because it can stain the carpet. So if you spill it, you're going you're gonna to be cleaning it up for a little while. So just be a little bit careful about that. Do this in the kitchen. Do it in a safe place. I'm Jason with scienceandmath.com. I hope you've enjoyed this. Go grab these materials. Baking soda, almost everyone has in the house. Paper, Q-tip, everybody has that in the house. The berry juice is something you might have to go to the store for, but you can easily go to the frozen section of the grocery store and grab that and make this in just a few minutes. And it's actually a lot of fun to do uh, to show people how you can make invisible messages, let everything dry and set up, and then decode that message and watch it kind of appear before your very eyes.